Hello, my name's Keith and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to be doing on the theme of space and I'm going to be showing you how to make a Rebel Alliance cruiser out of some very simple shapes, out of materials, toilet roll, engine block, which is a egg box and a light box. And we've been putting these three simple shapes together to make that Rebel Space Cruiser. So to begin with, we'll start down here on the table. Okay then, the Star Wars uh, spaceship we're going to be building today is a Rebel frigate of some kind. I'm not quite sure what she was, but it's the one from the opening sequence. And if we look at it here, the pictures here, we've got a big engine block, we've got a cockpit, and then we've got the main body here. So I think we can make it out of the engines out of an egg box. We've got the same shape here. Lots of extra nozzles for engines. So that's a handy ready-made engine block. We can use a toilet roll for the cabin. So that's just basically a cylinder. It's slightly conical, but it's better to keep it simple. And then we can try various sorts of box sizes to see which suits the fuselage. Okay, so I've tried out different sizes and I quite like the standard light box. And that's handy because these are all things you're likely to have at home. Okay, you know, you can do some extra things like if you had a, another box there, you could stretch it out to make it look proportionally similar to the thing. That becomes a bit more complicated in terms of construction. So I'm going to keep it simple with these two boxes here. Okay. Right. I'm going to do a bit of preparation to begin with because the egg box and the toilet roll are okay because they're nice plain shapes. And if you have a look, the kind of the finish on these spaceships is still slightly worn. So these kind of box cardboards are very useful for that. But we don't want the body to have an egg, um, a light bulb in it. So, first thing I'm going to do, rather than sort of painting this, we're going to cover it with paper. So, I'm going to get a pencil from over here. I've lined this up against the edge of the paper, so we only have to cut one thing. And there's one section. So, I'm going to have Rather than trying to wrap the paper around the box, which would make it a bit crinkly, we're going to just do some side pieces, single pieces. Okay, so I've drawn some very faint lines there, which I'm then going to cut out. It's nice thick paper, you don't need thick paper. You could use different coloured paper. I've just used white because that's the colour these spaceships are. And they're obviously white, so they stand out against a, a black background of space. So it makes the film a bit easier. There we go. So I'm going to have two side pieces. So you can see we'll just be able to stick those straight over and instantly cover it. Right, so I've got two side panels. The next thing I'm going to do is we need to fit the cockpit onto the main body. And that's quite a narrow surface to try and fix on. So what I'm going to do next is cut a longer strip. So I'm just going to mark it again the width of the box here. And I'll be cutting another strip off there. You can see I'm just lining it up along the edge of the paper I've just cut so that I'll get a strip the right width to there. I'll put that back there. Nice big pencil, easy to grip. OK, 
okay then. So I've got the strip here, which I'm going to wrap around like that. So it's all going to be glued together to form that shape there. On the cockpit there. Okay. Now the next step is we could actually start drawing onto this paper before we glue it, or we can draw onto it afterwards because we've got a nice plain surface to draw some indeed signs onto. What I'm going to do with this one though is I'm going to draw on the cockpit screen here so I can see there there's a little sort of triangle of red there just going to come in here very quickly and then there it is cockpit here with a little dark triangle above it okay so that's there so we're going to use print stick for gluing this nice simple glue it's better to buy a slightly uh, more expensive version the glue is better okay so we're going to put it onto this section here. So the first thing we'll do is a bit of glue along the back of where I've just drawn the cockpit. You can see me going there. So that's going to be at the front there. Line it up in the middle. Some more print stick along the sides there. Just to make sure it's in. There we go. And then the next step is print stick on all this surface here, loads of it. Okay, and a bit of print stick on there. I could use a stronger glue, which we might have to do for another stage. So that's there. And just pull it up into the shape there. So you can see there, we've got a cockpit area there and this is now stuck in and this holds the toilet roll in position next step is we just trim off the edges here and a little bit of overlap here which we don't want that requires a bit of neat trimming a little bit here we don't want as well okay and the next bit are the sides. Okay, you could, if you were clever, get another bit of toilet roll and just draw a little bit of a circle in there. Just right there. So you've got a little bit of a semicircle there. Check that you don't make it too short. So you could do that to try and get around that shape. I'm not going to do that because it's a bit. Uh, fiddly, but very little effect. Because what you're going to rely on is your little bit of drawing on the side to sort of give it a, that industrial look of lots of uh, panels and pipes. Okay. So I've stuck this on before I've assembled it on here because we need to trim this paper to make sure it's not Going to interfere with the next stage of the assembly. Okay, so now we need to assemble this onto the engine block. Okay, now the instinct is just to fix it straight onto there, but as you can see as I'm pressing it, it's got a little bit of spring in it, so you won't get a nice positive effect. So, what we're going to do is open up that part there and fold out the flaps there, and that's going to give us a nice surface. And you can see there. I didn't quite trim it enough, so I've got a little crink in there. So I'm just going to trim that bit off. And that's, this is quite a handy little trick. Like that. I'm going to trim off the top bit because we, we don't really need that. Okay, so that is going to fit on there 
like that. So we've now got the engine block on. So again, the Pritt stick. Or well, shall I use a stronger glue? It's too late now. I've used the Pritt stick. Because once you've mixed the glues, you have a big disaster because the glues don't, different types of glues don't like being used. And Pritt stick is easier. So let's stick that on there. Now you can see already that's not sticking at all. Not very easily anyway. So what we'll do instead is we'll use a bit of tape. Now if we cut the tape carefully, this is just all new masking tape. You could use side tape. We can just wrap it around. Whoop. Yeah, we're there properly. And then, no, so I'm trimming this after I put it on. It's just to make sure it fits the right size. Yeah. And then we've got a nice little bit down there which we can fit the, uh, the tape in. This one I'm cutting off separately because it just needs to wrap into that little corner there. Very good. And again, strip across there. You can use tele tape. Now we could fix this down unless you wanted to lift the bonnet and see the engines. So I'm just gonna make it a little strip there. Guess it next to it. No taped over there, and I'm just going to wrap it around the bottom in the vain hope that it will click on. Yeah, that seems to have held it. So you can see there a little shadow, so there's a bit there that needs to be trimmed. Yeah, I've got a little bit of movement there, yeah, so again, we'll just put a little square of tape on there. Again, I'm cutting it rather than ripping it because we want some nice and neat edges. Okay. So that is now. Let's see how tricky this is going to be. So let's see, get a little fold in there. Fold that over there. I don't think we need the overlap. So again, that's starting to make it a little bit stiffer. Now, I think we'll be ready to do some decoration on this. Call it decoration, it's just surface detail. Again, we're having to trim off these little bits of tape. Masking tape isn't a permanent solution, I'm afraid, but I think it'll last long enough for us to see it fly. And again, I can see another little bit here, so I'm constantly kneading it up as I'm moving it around in my hand. There we go. Right. So, in terms of the trim, the covering, we've got some red around the outside here. Now, we could do a little, we could have red paper. If you have any, but you can see how when you're with this red here, it's sort of giving that slightly weathered look as the uh, ink is soaking into the cardboard. So it looks a little bit older than it used to be. Okay, I'll be doing that trim around the edge there. In fact, I think this red is a bit better. I might give it some on here as well.
I'm not going to go into great detail because we haven't got much time here. But I just feel like I need to get this red on the ring on this part here. And then we can see a little bit of red on the engine section over here, so we can put some red down here. You can see how you put this ink on different materials, it's always a slightly different colour. On the other side there. And then we've got this little circular section here. So we could use something like um, bottle tops, we could stick those on if you wanted to. I'm just going to use it to draw a little circle around. So I'm holding it in position all the time. Yeah, so we've got that circle there. And then line it up on the other side to do the same again. There. And then the next bit is the red trim that goes straight down the middle. Now if you drew this on before you glued it on, you could draw it accurately with a ruler and a nice straight line. So. But sometimes if you like me, you're a little bit impatient to get things made. So we've got that on. And I've got a smaller bottle top here, and that's going to do the detail hatching in there, for example. So that is going to be around there like that. And you can see the sort of little panels and things that go in there. You don't have to be very accurate or specific with it. You can just make a little jumble, because it just looks like a little jumble. In there. You could do things like panels, like that. You see, as soon as you start putting this on, it breaks the surface up and looks it, starts to make it look a little bit more three dimensional. You could just put a little bit of shading, claim it's uh, weathering. Okay. So you can see, so we're already starting to put a little more detail on it. There. So that's fine there. Right, the next step is you could, oh, you've got some little turrets on the top there. You could, uh, if you've got a different bottle top, you could fix that on with some glue. You'll need stronger glue for these types of plastics which is something like you glue, which is uh, much stronger. It takes longer to dry there. That's why I'm not using it. You have to wait patiently for that. Okay, so there you have your basic cruiser. And the next thing you need to we'll be doing is, as I'm doing now, you'll be starting to detail it. You can add little extra panels on with cardboard, so you could use a little bit of cardboard somewhere, start putting different bits in, for example. Because what you want to do is look, make it look complicated, even though it's just a very simple shape stuck on.
we have the uh, detailing done. So you can start to see it looks sort of very much more functional and all the lines on it break it up so it looks less like a single cube. Okay. Right, the next step is we're going to fit some runners for it so we can make it fly. So I've got these are large paper clips, you can use normal sized ones. I'm using large ones because it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. So you see that one is bent and that's just done by bending the paper clip at the point there. So it ends up with two runners verticals like this and two horizontals. And we can fix we've got two because this is going to be on a zip wire. If we just use one it would your it keeps spinning and it will also the pitch will change. But if you've got two there you keep it the direction accurate. So I'm going to fit one on now I'm just going to use tape which I hope will hold. Also, when you're taping onto this paper, you've got to hold, hope that the print stick holds as well because it's being supported entirely by. There we go, that one's okay. And then the next one in now. Lining the uh, tape up with some of the lines that I've drawn for the uh, the panels. Okay, so that supports it there. So, so it's going to move along those two lines there. Okay, and the next step is we're going to set up a zip wire and we're going to film it sliding down the zip wire. Okay. Okay, right, so we've now completed our uh, Rebel Alliance spaceship. Just to recap on what we've done, we've taken, we've looked at the very simple shapes that the ship has an engine block, a body, and a cockpit, and we've constructed those just by simply assembling the three together and then we draw lots of detail on it to make it look more complicated than it actually is and we've now attached these two large paper clips there could be small ones to the top of it so that we can now take it over to the film set and fly it in space and uh, here we are on the film set to test fly our rebel cruiser i'm going to hitch it up to the zip wire now There she goes.